Hello friends, in this video, I am going to show you how to design this mesh orient tape in AutoCAD. So let's get started. So for the first step, you need to create this 2D sketch from the frame view. You must use this dimension if you want to follow along. Now let's uh, hide all the dimensions. Okay, now let's change the view to isometric and set the UCS to wall. Okay, let's use the S2 command and slide this 2D and it's to reach up to 65 uh, millimeter and now let's use the s2 command one more time and slide this in our 2d curve and we need to s2 this about six millimeter okay now we need to mirror this so use the 3d mirror command and slide this object and enter now let's use the z plane and we need to click on this midpoint and choose no Okay, now let's use the subtract command. Select this body first, enter, and select this two body, and enter again. Okay, let's change the visual style to shader with gray. Now let's use the shell feature. Uh, choose shell command and select this 3D object and select this surface to remove it and enter. Now let's uh, put the thickness about 5 mm and enter. And choose exit. And now let's go to the left side view. And here you need to create a 2D sketch for the hook. I have already drawn that sketch. Let me show you it. Okay, as you can see, this is a sketch. You can use this dimension to create it. Okay, now we need to create a rectangle at the end of this curve. As you can see, I have already created this 2D rectangle. You can use the freehand technique to make this uh, rectangle. Now let's hide all the dimension first. Okay, now let's change the UCS to wall and choose this tool. Now let's use the S2 command again and select this 2D rectangle and enter. And we need to choose the path option right here and select this path and hit the enter. Okay, we got it. Now let's move this uh, 3D object to the inside surface of this measuring tape. You can use the gizmo command. To move it. And now on the same frame plane, you need to create this line uh, with a 45 degree angle. And you need to create this 2D sketch by offsetting 6 mm. And you need to create one more horizontal line by offsetting the center line. You can offset any amount you want, that's up to you. Now let's use the trim command and let's trim the unnecessary curve. Okay, let's use the join command to join this all. Okay, let's change the UCS to wall and let's move it this to the sketch to the right place. Click on this space point and place it right here. And now let's change the official style to wireframe. Now let's use the S2 command again. Slide this 2D. And S2 this up to 48mm. Okay, now let's move this object by using the gizmo. Click on this midpoint. And now let's use the subtract command. Slide this main body. Enter. And slide this 3D and enter. Okay, so far so good. And one more time, you need to create this 2D sketch from the front plane. You must use all these dimensions to create it. It is pretty easy. You can create it. Now let's select this 2D object and select this 3D object and select this one too for the reference. And let's isolate the rest. Okay, now let's set the UCS to wall and use the move command. Select this to the object and click on this space point and move it right at this midpoint. Okay, now we need to use the S2 command one more time and select this to the object and let's extrude it up to 42 millimeter. 
and now uh, we need to move this so use the gizmo command and click on this midpoint and again from the front view you need to create this 2d rectangle sketch okay now let's use the move command slide this 2d object enter and click on this space point okay and let's move it up to this midpoint okay it must be like this now we need to issue this let's change the users to wall and uh, use the issue command and uh, slide this and uh, let's issue it uh, up to 36 okay it is better now slide this and click on this gizmo and click on this midpoint to move it okay that's look better now let's go to the front view and we need to change the visual style to wireframe and now let's use the ray command select this tree object and enter now click on this center point okay now let's change the fill angle to 25 okay we need to adjust this okay let's put it about 23 degree okay now uh, deselect the associate and close the array and enter okay now we need to select uh, this object only and let's isolate the rest and let's change the visual style to wireframe now let's use the subtract command select this object and enter and select this all and enter okay now let's unhide all the object and yet again you need to create this 2d sketch uh, by using this dimension from the frame view okay now let's uh, delete all these dimension okay now we need to join this and let's use the s2 command one more time to s2 this 2d You can do this any more you want. Now let's move this in the Y direction up to the middle point of the hook. Now let's use the subtract command. Select this hook and enter and select this object and enter. Now let's use the cylinder command uh, to make hole on this body for the screw thread. Uh, let's type the radius for 4 and let's type the high for 5 okay and let's use the copy command select this cylinder and click on this center and place it uh, right here and right here and let's copy it at the outside now let's use the subtract command select this main body enter and select this tree cylinder and enter okay that's look great now select this and right click and choose property okay let's change the radius 4 to 3.5 or 6 okay now let's go to the solid tab uh, we need to use the filler command so select this H and hit the enter and let's change the radius up to 2 you can put any more radius you want and enter now let's use the copy command again select this and base one will be at the center and let's place it right here here and right here okay now let's use the filler command one more time to fill out these edges you can use any filler more you want again now let's use this 2d sketch for the keychain slot okay now we need to use the s2 command slide this to sketch and let's s2 this 
you can issue this any amount you want. Now let's use a subtract command. Select this outside body, enter, and select this inside cylinder, and enter. Now select this, we need to move this in the y direction. Uh, at the midpoint of the main body. And click on this midpoint. Now let's use the union command. Select this main body and select this and enter. Okay, now you can use the filler to fill out these edges. So do it yourself. Now let's use the filler edges. Okay, let's choose the radius up to 5. Okay, we need to change the, uh, I mean, choose the chain option. Okay, let's check the radius again. It must be 5. Okay, hit enter and select this edge and this edge and the edge from the back side. Okay, and hit enter and enter one more time. Now you can use the fill out edge command to fill out the other edges. And now from the front view, you need to create this 2D sketch for the keychain by using the spline command. Now let's go to the top view. And here you need to create another 2D sketch at right this session. You can use the filler and line command to create this sketch. Just use the freehand technique to make this. Okay, and here you need to create another rectangle at the same point. I have already created, uh, which is uh, this one. And again, you can use the freehand technique for this rectangle too. Now let's use the SQ command. And select this object and enter. And now choose the path option. And select this. Okay, we got it. Now let's change the visual style to shade of gray. Okay, let's isolate. I mean hide this object for a moment. Now let's create a circle at the end of this curve. You can use any uh, radius you want. Now select this and rotate along the Y and Z. Now let's use a sweep command. Select this to D, enter, select this path. Okay, now let's unhide all the object. Okay, that's look great. Now let's create a line uh, at the end of this point. You can use any line you want. Now we need to move this line to the center of the object. Now we need to isolate the rest. So right click and choose isolate object. Now let's use the helix command. And click on this midpoint for the center. And type the 3 mm radius for the top. And also 3 mm radius for the bottom. And let's click on the 10 options. You can put any number of 10 you want. Okay, one more time, click on Z endpoint. And let's click along the ACZ. Up to this point. Okay, now let's unhide all the object. Okay, look like we need to move this along the negative extraction. So click on ASGISMO. And move it up to this point. It is like a holder for the keychain. Now we need to create a circle at the end of this curve. You can put any amount of radius you want. Okay, now let's use a sweep command. Slide this circle, enter, and slide this object, and enter. Okay, as you can see, we got the result. Okay, look like that's pretty good to me. Now let's go to the backside view. And here we need to create a 2D sketch for the logo. Okay, as you can see, this is the logo which I have already created on the backside. Now let's hide this to see it clearly. You can create any logo you went now select all these and let's use the s2 command and let's s2 this up to 5 millimeter 
Okay, now we need to move this to the front face. So select all these and let's use the move visible command. Okay, now right click on this gizmo and choose relocate gizmo and click on this midpoint. And now let's move this along the look like Z direction. Now let's hide the main body. And we need to use the subtract command and select this body, enter and select this object, this one and this center one, which is at the center. And enter. Okay, let's unhide the main body. Now let's go to the left side view. And let's change the visual style to wireframe. Now let's use the ask command and click on this midpoint and on this midpoint and on this midpoint. Okay, let's move it up a little bit up to this point. And let's move this up a little bit. Okay, now we need to S2 this curve. So let's use the S2 command. And you can do this any more you want. It will turn to surface model. Now let's move this uh, to the inside of this measuring tape up to this point. Now let's use the thickening command. Select this surface and enter and put any more thickness you want. Now let's use the copy H command. And select this top H and hit the enter and click on this end point. Okay, and let's move this along the H direction. Okay, press shift right click and choose the nearest O snap, uh, which is right here. And you can place anywhere you want and choose exit. Now, uh, let's check in the visual style to wireframe and copy this up to this end point. And enter now let's use the lob surface command and slide this to X and enter okay now let's use the thicken surface command and slide this surface and enter you can put any more thickness you want and enter And you have to create this 2D sketch from the top view uh, to slide the previous object. Okay, now we need to use a stew command to stew this open curve to create the surface. Now let's use a slide command, slide this 3D object, enter and use the surface option and slide this surface and hit the enter again. Now delete this, we don't need it anymore. And delete this 3 object. Now let's uh, move this again in the other direction. We need to create a ravet at the top surface. Okay, uh, look like that height is enough. Now let's use the S2 command again. Slide this circle and enter. And you can S2 this anymore you want. You must be create. It is exactly like a ravet. Okay, now let's fill out these edges. You can use any filler amount you want. Now let's use the copy H command one more time. And select this top H to copy it. And enter. And now click on this point and type 0, 0, 0,0 to place it exactly at this place. Now let's select this object and let's isolate the rest. And now let's use the 3D polyline command. 
a square line from this end point uh, let's drive five unit length and let's create one more line at the end of this point okay now let's hide this object okay now we need to use the copy command to copy the calf select this calf and enter click on this space point and place it right here okay now let's use the join command select this cup and enter now let's use the stu command to stu this you can stu any more you want let's type point three is better let's unhide all the object and now let's select this object and this object okay now let's isolate the rest and let's use the union command select this two object and enter now you can use the filler edge command to filler some of the edges so do it yourself okay let's unhide all the object well as you can see this is the result after i have applied the filler command on these edges i hope you got a better result than me and now let's go to the frame view and here we need to create a cylinder Okay, press shift right click and choose the center options and now let's click on this center okay now let's create a cylinder with 82 radius and let's put the height above 68 enter now select this and use a gizmo to move it center of this object shift right click and choose the mid option and click on this midpoint okay now let's change the UCS to wall and now select this cylinder isolate the rest okay now use a slice command select this object and enter okay first selection plane will be uh, x y plane so click on x y option and click on this quadrant and enter okay let's use one more time select this and this time select yz plane and click on this midpoint and hit enter now delete this one and this one and let's unhide the rest of the object now let's create a line from this endpoint okay click along the axis Now let's go to the frame view. Okay, here we need to use the rotate command and select this line. Enter and click on this end point. And let's choose the copy option and rotate it about eight degree. Now we need to use the uh, UCS command. Uh, click on this end point first okay uh, let's press shift right click and choose the endpoint option and click on this endpoint and second click will be right here and the third click must be long why is it okay now let's use the slice command one more time select this object enter and use the x y play option and click on this endpoint and enter now delete this we don't need it anymore okay now now let's go to the frame view and now let's use the cylinder command one more time and let's click on the center of this object okay now let's create this a cylinder uh, with a radius about 75 millimeter or you can use the free end technique if you want to and uh, you can put any more or high you want now let's use the subtract command slide this small body enter and slide this less cylinder and enter okay now let's use the filler edge command and slide this vertical edge and select this edge from the back side and enter you can use any amount of filler radius you want 
Okay, uh, let's use the filler command one more time and use the chain option and select this top edge and select this bottom edge and again you can put any more radius you want now let's go to the frame view and here we need to use the polar array select this object and enter now let's choose the center point okay press right click and choose center and click on this edge and let's change the fill angle any angle you want okay let's change the number item two okay and let's enter that's pretty good okay look like the result is good now you can add detail as many as you want it is up to you to make it more realistic look now let's go to the top view and let's change the visual style to wear frame and here you need to create a series of box to create a marking on this ruler i have already done it let me show you it okay as you can see this is the box which i have already created for the marking okay now let's uh, use the union command select this all three object to make a single object now we need to meta this to the other side so let's use the 3d meta command right here okay the option must be z explain and click on this midpoint and choose new option now use the union command again select this two object and enter and now let's use the copy command select this object and now click anywhere you want for the base point and now type 0 comma 0 to place it exactly the same place now we got two object right here now let's use the same technique to create an extra object select this body and click right here and again type 0 comma 0 okay now we got two object here too now let's use the intersect command and select one of this object and select one of this object and enter okay now let's use the subtract command select this object first enter now select this object and enter okay we got the marking Well, that's all guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel. See you in the next tutorial.